Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I just want to say, before we start off today, it is a, it's a cozy, it's a chill day, so I'm gonna chill. We're gonna watch another episode of Breaking Bad, season two, episode nine, four days out. Before we get even further into this video, I just want to say, for those of you roasting me, I wasn't sure if that was Jessica Jones. I don't know if during my reaction you could tell that I was analyzing her face so freaking hard. I was like, there's no way that's her. I was like, I couldn't put my finger on it. I was like, there's something a little different. And now, you know, it's a few years. It's, it's a few years difference. That's what the difference was. Anyway, I don't know what this episode about. I just know we met Saul Goodman and he is very selfish. He's very selfish and he's, he's sneaky. He's like a, he's snake. He's a big old snake and he's only in there for his own, his best interest. So he's gonna be an interesting character that got put into the mix. He's gonna complicate things and I wanna see how. So let's get into it. If by chance by the end of the video, you're interested in watching my full length commentary and review for everything I watch, be sure to check out my Patreon. It helps the channel an insane amount. So I will be linking that down below in the description. Uh, without further ado, let's get into season two, episode nine, four days out of Breaking Bad. You guys really don't need to hang around. Why not? You don't need to get the results till next week. Well, with us, you wouldn't have to wait until next week to get the results. Doctors like people to think that they're so much smarter than the technicians, but you would be surprised how much they come to us for input. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest though, Marie does it, says this because she cares and she has kind of experience in the field. I don't blame her. I- she's okay. Like, I- I don't think she's being too much or anything. You alright in there? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thank you. Oh. Well, the results- remember? The, the- the status was looking good, so I guess it's gonna be- I think it's gonna be good results. Is that what it sounds like? That sounds terrifying. Straight out of Star Wars. How'd we do? Did fine. See anything? I'm just a technician, Mr. White. Sorry. Ah. That doesn't look like it's fine. That doesn't look like it's- it, That doesn't look like it's fine. There's- that, First of all, that is a horrible place to put a picture. In the- in the- the, the CAT scan room for the technician. That's a terrible placement. Anybody walking out from getting their scan done can see the monitor. <laughs> they, they didn't really think that, you know, the- the picture placement properly, huh? Most people want to know why they suddenly got rich. If she finds out, it's after I'm gone. How much time they giving you? Weeks. I was uh, hoping we could make some real money together. That's what he cares about. That's all he cares about. How much money are we laundering? $16,000. How long have you been doing this? We've had some extenuating circumstances. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> He's like, have you have been doing this for like a couple days? It's just to cook more. Yeah. That's my legal opinion. That's a terrible legal opinion. Jesus, don't. That is that is not your legal opinion. From doing something highly illegal, Saul. You know, we should so do something. This is funny. Thinking I should go see mom. You're expecting the, the news from the scan to be bad. I need to know mom's going to leave you something if, if I'm no longer around. It's fair. And believe me, I'm going to earn every penny of it, too. Complaining about her nurses the entire time. Juanita is hiding my ashtray. <laughs> oh, no, silly Juanita. I actually think the news from the scan is going to be good. Perhaps you should prepare for that. Yeah. <sighs> See? She just looks so different than Jessica Jones. Yeah. <laughs> like, Jane to Jessica... So, so, she just seems so much more different. She smiles so much more. Maybe that's it. You've never heard of George O'Keefe? Mm, boy, you need some educating. Why don't we go up to Santa Fe? You want to go to all the way to Santa Fe for a museum? Yep, we're going. <laughs> Get up. Oh. So lazy. A lot of her paintings look like vaginas. Really? She just seems so different to me. I would, I would always really like stare at her nose. I like her nose a lot. I guess that's the most like distinctive thing, but I don't know. Hello, Jesse. Pick up. We have to cook. You'll need today at least to gather supplies. Yo, you want to go shopping? Go do it yourself, all right? I got plans. It's your job. I'm going to a museum in Santa Fe. Not like you need to know. Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe. She's a painter. Duh. She does these vagina pictures. <laughs> what are you even talking about? <laughs> Man, why am I even explaining myself to you? Because you're buds, you don't even know it yet. You and I need to cook. We have no choice. 
are methylamine. It's going bad. Unless stealing another barrel sounds good to you. Hell no. We have to act fast before it goes to waste. Come on. The pizza on the floor is throwing me off so much. I can always call if you need. What? And risk talking to your mother? <laughs> Must be some emergency. Stop. Mother in laws are never that bad, I assume. Why did they get so weird about kissing? Like the timing was like too close. <laughs> the bullet holes are still in the door. You brought a meth lab to the airport. <laughs> what? You brought a meth lab to the airport. Go, drive, go, go. Honest, Jesse, I... <laughs> Sometimes I like wonder what goes through his head. This is crazy. There's nothing. I wouldn't even. I would get lost. I know there's like tracks, but that's crazy. Three entire bags of funyuns. How about something with some protein, maybe? Wait, wait. Was that fruit by something the foot? Green, huh? It's like gushers. How are you even alive? <laughs> Hey, yo, check your phone. You get any bars? Yeah, I've got a signal. Let me use yours, would you? What, female? Maybe. <laughs> oh, Skyler hits redial and some stripper answers. She's not a stripper. Drinking water? Is that all we've got? Ten gallons? Well, you plan on taking a bath in it? <laughs> Maybe. I, I really like how the food he brought was only Funyuns and, like, Gushers. Oh, yeah. He's gonna strip for him again. Classic. No, that is our workstation. Oh, our workstation. Jesse hates Walt's presence. Why don't you try to find a place where it won't get lost, hmm? Why don't you try sticking up your ass sideways? Is it bad that that's what I thought to do too? Put it in the ignition? I feel like that's gonna backfire somehow though. Ready or not. I love this. It's so funny. Like they're cooking meth and they have the happiest song playing. Love this happy meth compilation montage, sorry. The happy meth montages. Just, you can't find them anywhere else. Oh, they even pee together. Cute. 2.35 pounds. That's the last of it. That's a lot of meth. How much? What are we selling for these days? 40 a pound. 40 times 42 minus distribution charges. This mental math is insane, blowing my mind. $672,000. There's no way. Each. Huh? Each. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Yes! Something is gonna go awry. It yeah! always does. Yes! Come on! There goes the generator. We're done cooking. I'd say we still got 10, 12 gallons of methylamine. Oh, we are way out of schedule, man. Come on, can we at least just take the night off? There's gotta be a Denny's out there someplace. Grand slam, odd shower, a bed. Something feels off and I can't point my, put my finger on it. Battery's dead. He put it in ignition and turned on the battery. Oh no. No, this, this is not my fault, all right? The, the buzzer didn't buzz. Look, I didn't turn the key or anything, all right? I'm not stupid. It's just a genetic thing with you. <laughs> God. Your mother drop you on your head when you were a the baby? The buzzer did not buzz. Brutal, Walt. Brutal. We need to jump the battery somehow. Okay. How we do that? How are we gonna how? do that? What is he siphoning? Ugh. You don't know how to siphon correctly, Walt? You gonna be okay? When you see it coming, you <laughs> let go. It tastes like bad, huh? Oh, and he's gonna reek of it forever. Well, just, just, you should, you should do it, I think. Positive. Just in case. Negative. All right. What's wrong with this thing? Now really pull, not like a girl. You know what? Pull this. <sighs> oh! You wasted all the water that they had, and now they're in the middle of the desert, in the sun, with no water, with a camper full of meth. Jesse is always just. Well done. You have some service. Call a taxi. You're just gonna have to walk a little bit. Come on, you bitches. Okay, now we have to use your phone. Your wife is not gonna notice one little call. Oh. All right, look. 
Just... Yo, Skinny, hey, I need you to come pick us up. You got a pen for directions? Look, pencil's fine, retards. <laughs> it's something to write with. It doesn't matter. Dirt road, it's right before the white sign with a three on it. You're just gonna keep heading down that dirt road for... About another 15 miles. That far? Yeah, yeah hurry up. Oh, and yo, hey, listen, um, bring water. Leave now. I feel like he's gonna make it home later than Tuesday. Oh, he's wearing his hoodie. Just call. The phone's gonna be dead. The phone's so gonna be dead. Yo, yo, where are you? He's across the river. There's no river. What river? Hey, Pete, what the hell river are you talking about, man? There's no- It's a desert. There's no river. Yo, Pete, can you- Phone's dead. Now what? They die out here. Something always goes wrong. Freaking always. How are they gonna get out of this one? How <laughs> like every like other episode I have to say that. How are they gonna get out of this one now? What's this? I'm trying to trickle charge the battery. So I turn on that thing? The commutator. It's the part which generates the electricity. Miko's on my lap. He's here to watch too. It'll take longer. A lot longer. Theoretically. It should work. Theoretically. What better plan do you have, Jesse? I try. Oh, okay. At least he wants to help. They don't have water either. This is bad. This is not good. Hey. Mr. White. He's alive. Was he napping with his eyes open? Oh, I'm good. <coughs> For me, it doesn't spoil. No. It's him. That's not why we're here. Yo. Why much? He wasn't worried or concerned about Walt. He's realizing that Walt's the one that's about to spoil. That's what it is. There's nothing like watching a good show with a cat on your lap, sleeping. Okay. Comfy. Okay. Okay. They've been doing it all day. It's practically evening. Alright, let's see. Yes! Yes! Again! Walt's genius saves the day. These are things that I, the average person would not think. Wait, never mind. Wait, it worked though. Why did it stop? Mr. White! Mr. White! What are you doing? He's dying. Marching out there, and within an hour. Dead. You need to cut out all your loser crybaby crap right now and think of something scientific. Man, you're smart. Or you made poison out of beans. No. <laughs> that he did. We got an entire lab. That way you can just send up a signal flare. You make some kind of robot. Build a new battery or take some stuff off of the RV and build it into something completely different. What is he even saying right now? Like a dune buggy. He would want a dune buggy. What is it? Is his genius gonna save the what? day again? Do you have any money, coin? Yeah, I got a bunch of them. Okay, um, gather them and, and 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 whatever little pieces of metal we can think. The, the the front wheels should have discs. Take them off and bring them to me. What are we building? You said it yourself. A robot? No. A battery. So they're not gonna have brakes on the RV? I assume the RV's two wheel, not four wheel. I'm sorry, I forget I said anything. Forget I said a thing. On one side, you have mercuric oxide and graphite from here. On the opposite side is our anode. This. It's zinc. Find in our coins and anything galvanized. You ever thought you'd be like this with your chemistry teacher? What shall we use to conduct this beautiful current with? Hmm? One particular element. Jesse. Hmm? Jesse. Say it. Uh, wire. Copper. There it is. That's what the wire is. What's what's the element? Wire. Cathode. Let's hope it works. Let's hope it works. Anode. Damn. That's very good. <laughs> Here we go. Is it gonna work? It has to. I can't imagine it not working. They would die. Oh no! Yes! Third time's a charm, baby! Let's go! They did it! They're home, they're scot free! Lego. Hallelujah! I know I can trust you to. Uh, whatever happens, your family will get your share. That's one thing is that Jesse is trustworthy. He may make really dumb mistakes, who doesn't, but he's, he's trustworthy. 
He's loyal to his word. His bond is his word. How's everyone doing? Oh no. Oh no. Well, I have your scan results and you're showing signs of remission. What do, you, what do you mean? It does not mean that the patient is cured. We only need to determine that the tumor hasn't grown. So it's stagnant. With a stage three adenocarcinoma, I like to see at least a 25 to 35% reduction in tumor mass. Walt, your tumor has shrunk by 80%. What? 80% is a lot. It's okay, amazing. But I, 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 wait, I... Sweetheart, you're right. It's very good news. It's very good news. <laughs> when I try to get out, they pull me back <laughs> Now, that cough is the other thing we need to discuss. See that scary looking thing there? Yes. That's tissue inflammation. It's a reaction to your radiotherapy. It's usually not serious, but it can't produce a cough like that. It looks pretty serious. The other day, I was coughing up some blood. You probably have a tear in your esophagus from the coughing, and that can be very serious. You could rupture and bleed to death. Now, with these results, we're not completely out of the woods. But now at least we have some options. It's looking great. The most important of which is time. You folks have earned some celebrating. Wait, that's like actually amazing. It's so easy to lose your life and he's he's not going to. Not anytime soon. <laughs> why? Why though? His knuckles are bloody. Wait, why was he so mad? Because he went through that and he wasn't even gonna die? That's why? So I just finished watching this most recent uh, episode of Breaking Bad. Walt kind of coming to terms with thinking he was going to die, trying to prep for it, and then realizing that he was actually granted more time than he originally thought. It's amazing news that we got to see that Walt's cancer is in remission 80%. And the, the, everything has, an, it has a freaking explanation. So that was amazing to hear. It was really good and that made me really happy to see. So that's all I really have to say. I just, this whole episode I was dying of thirst and they literally almost died of thirst and all that. So that was, that was crazy. I'm gonna go get some water. I'm gonna go hydrate. Go hydrate yourselves too, okay? Let's, let's go be hydro homies. Let's go do this. This dang teddy bear. We always see it. The crime scene stuff. What is this? Evidence. Yeah, that's that's the word I was looking for was evidence. What does it mean? What is it all? Wait, this is, is this not Walt's house? Wait, this is Walt's place. I'm hoping I'm wrong. Um, excuse me? Who died at Walt's house? One looked big like it was Skylar, but that's impossible. I've, I know she's in later seasons. Uh, I know the feel, brother. I understand. Join the club, let's go. Siblings with <laughs> inhalers. Is he gonna keep the bulb? He is, he like I'm not it. not thinking about going to work today. Just take the rest of the week, please. You've earned it. That toast looks delicious right now. Mom wants a party. You know, nothing too big, just family and a few friends. Do I not do a Saturday? I to celebrate. I agree. That's what I said. We they gotta celebrate. I said that, and I like that they are. What are you supposed to do today? Rest. Mm -hmm. That's really sweet of her to care so much about like him. Brownie points for taking a nap. I love that. Yes, Queen. Make him take a nap. He won't. He's not gonna take a nap. Walt seems like the type of guy that. When he has nothing to do, he can't just relax. He always needs to do something. He can't sit there and do nothing. Like, he just physically does not know what to do with himself. Are you gonna call Jesse? Is Jesse your best friend? He's gonna call again. Can you meet? I was even checking the old bids. Really? Oh, how, how long has it been? The upshot is that I have radiation pneumonitis. Not as bad as it sounds. In fact... Say it. Tell him. The news is all good. You mean, like, good, good? Look how concerned Jesse is. Not to imply I'm cured. I still have cancer. There's been a significant reduction in the tumors. How significant? Say it. Say 80%. 80%? No way. No, I'm not out of the woods yet. I mean, my, my aunt, she never... I mean, you know, at your stage, I didn't think that could happen. 
You must be so psyched. Of course, I am. Then show it! Party a little! With your family! With your wife! Oh, hey, I... almost forgot. We'll take our time and stay cautious. Sell off what we have. And I guess I'm done. Oh, really? That was his decision. Banner up! Um, everyone... <laughs> I love it when he does his little... Why is it so funny? I know one party can't begin to repay all your support and your your many, many kindnesses. And um, for the first time in a long time, we are so excited about the future. Not afraid anymore, yeah. I, oh, I want to also express my gratitude to two very special people, Gretchen and Elliot Schwartz. They are incredibly generous friends who made the amazing offer to pay for Walt's treatment. And they did to Gretchen and Elliot. Hey, how about the man of the hour? Yeah. Oh yeah, let's see what Walt has to say. I want to hear from the man himself. It's kind of funny. When I got my diagnosis... I feel like he's going to say something really dark. I said to myself, why me? The woman on the left, she's like, yeah, right. The other day when I got the good news, I said the same thing. Oh. I <laughs> Everybody's face. Thank you for coming. That's a terrible speech. And enjoy. All he did was bring up like his almost survivor's guilt kind of thing. Yep, very inspirational. Five or six ounces of C4. That's how those cartel boys party. Tortuga. That was the name of our snitch. Hey, uh, uh top me off there, will you, buddy? Anyway, um, poetic. I would not say that that was poetic in, in the slightest. It was horrific. It was an absolute horror freak show. It was not. It was a terrible way to... It's a terrible thing to do to um someone's body. Oh! You turned to cool, Dad. Better not uh, let your mom see. <laughs> <clears throat> There's no worm in this, right? No, that would be mescal. Why do they have worms in that? I've seen that. We are drinking mescal, stupid. But, uh, hey, hey, it's 16. What are you looking at him for? He made that really tense. Hank's just giving good advice. We're celebrating. Huh. If he doesn't want to drink, he doesn't want to drink. I don't like <clears throat> Walt's attitude right now. He does, don't give it to him. Don't give more to him. Walt, what is wrong with you? Why is he doing this? I think we've been bogarting this puppy long enough. Bring the bottle back. My son, my bottle, my house. He doesn't want it. He <clears throat> does not want this. Always call it that. Hank is being extremely kind about it. Just really like level headed. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is Horrible. Oh my gosh, this is, so, this is so bad. This is really bad. Oh my lord, this is really bad. Your son is throwing up and you're taking shots? And he's throwing up because of you? What got- what has gotten into Walt? This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Those commercials. I remember those. This is throwbacks. You weren't supposed to wake up. No, I was just thinking I'd bring she it. She's gorgeous. You know, in. She just looks a lot taller here than in Jessica Jones. She looks much taller here. Need some help? <sighs> no, I, I think I that's why I couldn't really. Um, yeah, just uh, have a seat. No, I don't want you to have to do anything, you know? That's sweet. Fork. Oh, yeah. So, what are you up to today? I'm all yours. I really don't know what got into Walt there. His character's changing, but I wouldn't even say like for the better. Like that's just not decisions. It's terrible decisions. You don't do that to your family, your son, in front of people, party celebrating your health. Just a lot of really bad choices. Hey, this is Skylar. Please leave me a message. I I'm not exactly sure who that was yesterday, but it wasn't me. It was Heisenberg. I'm sorry.
Something wrong with the pipes. It's not good. It's being held together by duct tape. I mean, you can afford to to get a new. Remember, in the very episode, there was something about the water. Wow. You can now get. You can afford churros. a new one now. Oh, that would be me. Nice. They're I love actually, churros. They're leftovers. We had a little get together love, for a while. Love. Well, birthday, was it? He's been battling cancer. We're really optimistic. I mean, good, good news is great. Yeah. Feel free to bring these anytime. <laughs> <laughs> for me too. I love churros. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Got some real beauts. <clears throat> what about tankless? Look at him. He's like, oh, I got, got I got you. He's I mean, like, you. Really run up your price, though. He's like, you You already know we got them. Not an issue. Ooh, nice flex. This guy can serve without a board. Jesus. Um, that's. Oh. Can. <laughs> that's cool. And this guy. Kanga, man. His uh, sidekick, Joey, he rides around in his pouch and, you know. Jesse draws manga? Is that what we're figuring out? Only female kangaroos have pouches. He's definitely a dude. He's a product of experimentation. Back Wardo. He moonwalks aggressively. Oh, no, I actually I changed it really to fast. Rewindo. He draws manga. He just walks backwards. He's moonwalking. He walks backwards. Fast. Is that a superpower? What good is that? <laughs> Say someone's coming at him with a knife. He's gonna right? back I mean, up. Then you can just zip backwards away from him. Okay. It's the worst superpower I've ever heard of. I wonder what a shrink would say if he saw them. Oh, shut up. <laughs> they're cute. They're really cute together. I like them. Sounds like mine. I have a bad feeling. I gotta go. Hold up. Where are you? Her dad? Jane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the, it's the dad. It's her dad. Hey. Yeah. Ah. Oh, there you are. Well, I was in the neighborhood. I was wondering if you wanted to grab some lunch. Hey. This, uh, it's your dad? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is the new tenant. Oh no. I'm sorry. Did you need something? No. Dad, why don't you come in? It was nice seeing you. It was nice to meet you. You too. You thought you were just gonna get an intro- You needed to have a conversation if you're meeting parents. Well, you're just gonna introduce yourself as the boyfriend who's living in the dad's property? No, no, you need a conversation. Jesse, come on. Think. Th this is why Walt yells at you all the time about thinking. Hey, Dad. I love that hey, he's like a handyman. Like, he'll just do yeah. whatever at home. That's amazing. I feel like nobody does that anymore. That's a really important skill when you're a homeowner. I know I won't be able to do that. No more toxic waste. It only yes. took um a season and a half. From episode one. Episode one. All right, listen, go, why don't you go to the kitchen sink? Let me know when you're ready and I'll I'll give you a holler. All right, let her rip. Safety thermal couple with the pilot burner. Sounds really good. <laughs> Let's have a chat. I'm sorry about the pool. He felt the need to apologize to no, his dad? No, it was not your fault, not at all. You and Uncle Hank, you seem pissed off. I called him this morning and made my apologies. I owe you an apology most of all. I'd agree, yeah. But I kept up, right? I drank three. Oh, he's so impressionable. Look at him. That's all that he thinks matters. Don't do that. You're gonna get kicked. You're gonna get kicked out of the house. You wanna get kicked out? You cannot be mad right now. You made a dumb decision. What was that? You made her very uncomfortable. Hey. What was that all about? What's she eating? wasn't about anything. I told you, he's a hard ass. Seemed cool to me. You, so, he said one sentence to you. You acted like you didn't even know me. You think I'm gonna be all like, hey dad, meet the stoner guy who lives next door and by the way, I'm sleeping with him? Why do you even care about my dad? I don't. Good, then I don't know why we're talking about it. He wants a relationship, she doesn't. You and me. Who's you and me? Ooh. Ouch, oh. That sucks so bad. That sucks hard. Come on, that that was bad on her move. That was bad on her. He didn't think and thought he could be introduced to the dad automatically, which I don't know because they didn't have a conversation. But she should not have said that. She should have been maybe, you know, like not a total jerk about it. 
And she's not even coming out to him. Yep. The music. He's gonna get someone killed. Tell me there are dead bodies under his house or something. Dad! Hello? What are you doing? We've got rot. Take a look at that. Why did you have to go so deep and past the basement for that? It's wood. That contains fruiting bodies. Fungus, and it is on a rampage. Is the whole house gonna collapse or something? Not if I can help it. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. Other than, you know, the first scene showing, you know, two dead bodies and a, a massive crime scene, but whatever. Bugging for promotion? Go home already. And then seriously, you're not gonna make me lock you in, are you? <sighs> Skylar? It's hormones. Honestly, it happens all the time. <sighs> He's concerned. Doesn't it feel any different? Nothing's really changed. It's just postponed. There's supposed to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Lately, it just feels like more tunnel. I'm so... <sighs> I understand. I mean, no, not at all, actually. But I understand the feeling of you thinking it's gonna get better, and then it just feels like more tunnel. Being that rock takes everything you've got. Yeah, being strong is really difficult takes everything in you. This is the first like listening and compassion that she's been shown, I think, in like quite some time. Someone who kind of understands. I'm mortified. I just don't like that that could be a catalyst. At least he has a project to keep him busy. You should be happy, Sky cares about the house he's do doing stuff for it i mean no one sees the basement ever but you know on the table he's really this is as he makes me want toast so bad are you going to work today She's... oh there's rot did she say take the week i'm back Bye. sure I've never seen it like done up close like that. That's how that's done. Is that that's not marijuana, is it? That's not the weeds. Is that crack? I don't know. He's being evicted. Oh, dope! He has like a rug that looks like grass. Interesting interior decorating choices. That's thoughtful. <laughs> the amount of light he can have in that living room is insane. Good night. Oh, damn! She wants oh. his attention. No, no, Ted, you don't have to do that. Oh my gosh. Skylar, what are you doing? You are not painting the bottom of your basement. Wait, let me. I didn't look at it. It's a primer. Who's shopping for that stuff? Hey! He's trying to make meth too. Fellow meth maker. You're buying the wrong matches. Red phosphorus is found in the striker strips, not the matches themselves. And don't buy everything in one place. Do it piecemeal. He's making this way too obvious what he does. <laughs> Why are his undies hanging out? Why did he run away like that? He's like, amateurs. How'd she get her hair to do that? I have a bad feeling about this. Stay out of my territory. Oh, snap. He's really threatening. They got the RV and everything, too. That was really cool. That was also a good song, I liked that. This episode, Walt is completely unhinged. It seems like his character is developing into the point where he doesn't know where Walt is, and now Heisenberg is taking over more so than his than Walt. Not saying this was happening, but it looks like Skylar's looking for attention in the wrong places, and she doesn't feel supported at home. She doesn't feel like she has anyone to really count on, therefore she's going elsewhere. 
Walt is slowly leaving their lives, and it seems like Walt is dying. Not physically, but his character, himself, who he was, is dying, and now Heisenberg is taking over. And he likes it. It seems like he really, really likes it. But we'll see how it continues, but I think we're going down this rabbit hole. I think this is the route we're taking, so we will see. Oh, let me know what you guys think down below, because I, um, am I on the right track? I think I am. I want to know your thoughts. Let me know. Thank you, guys. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.